Hi guys and girls and people of the world. Today we're going to be looking at specific heat capacity. Here's a PowerPoint that my amazing year minds have made. And as you can see, it's hashtag road to a million. So make sure that you subscribe. <laughs> so how are we setting this up? The way we're going to set this up uh, is we have a power pack which is going to go into the drawn meter. So I'm going to put that straight into this area here where it says input. Uh, next, what we're going to have is we're going to place our heater into the section where it says heater. And because it's the external load, we're going to place the other one into that hole there. Once you've done that, we can switch it on. But what is the aim of the experiment? The aim of the experiment is to work out specific heat capacity using this equation. Energy equals mass times specific heat capacity times change in temperature. Where are we going to get the energy from? Well, that's going to be our joule meter reading. Make sure that you set it to times one. Right? Where are, where's our mass coming from? Well, we're going to weigh this using a measuring, a weighing scale. But I'm telling you that it's one kilogram. You can confirm that yourself. Uh, C is our unknown because that's what we're working at. And our change in temperature, we're going to record using the thermometer. So it's important before you start the experiment to record the initial temperature. Once you have the initial temperature, we can go to a delta T of whatever you want. I'm going to stick to change in 10 degrees. So if my temperature start is at 23 degrees, I'm going to stop at 33 degrees. So that will give me a change of 10 degrees Celsius. But what's my energy? Well, my energy reading will come from here once it's gone past 10 degrees. And just to show you how it looks once it is switched on, you'll see that the numbers are going up and up and up. And that's based on the amount of energy the heater is using up. Right? And then, of course, once you have your energy, you have your mass, you've calculated your change in temperature based from this, then we can rearrange this equation like magic. The equation is specific heat capacity is equal to the amount of energy used, which comes from here, remember, divided by the mass, which was one kilogram in this instance, multiplied by the change in temperature, which in this case we said we're going to only uh, go up to 10 degree difference, but it doesn't matter about the change in difference. And then what you can do, guys, girls, once you have that specific heat capacity, you can compare it to an actual value that you can get from Google uh, for aluminium block and you can calculate the percentage error uh, and that is how you work out specific heat capacity using a joule meter it's very easy this way uh, an alternative way can be seen above and that will explain how to work out specific heat capacity without a joule meter it's a lot more complicated check it out remember it's a road to a million thank you to my <laughs> amazing year nine students for <laughs> helping me out with this uh, specific heat capacity practical required Uh, and that is how you work out specific heat capacity using a joule meter. It's very easy this way. Uh, an alternative way can be seen in the link above. That's so cringe. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the link below. Yeah, no, well, it's, there's the in the iCard. Yeah. Remember, it's a road to a million. Thank you to my <laughs> amazing year nine students. <laughs> yeah, is it ready? This is a test for voice control. Live! Live from, from Paula, Paula Casually. Paula Casually. Paula Casually. Uh, <laughs> <Jason Cassell. laughs> anyway. 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 <laughs> anyway. <laughs>